Hi friends, welcome back to Laura Bee Gardening. So today we're on the side of my home where I have created this work area and I have a little workbench here where I do a lot of my potting or a lot of my mixing, um, mixing of fertilizers, whatever needs to be unpacking. This is behind the scenes. I also store all my pots back here and my soil and all my drip system containers um, or the compartments for it. But we, before we go into that, I did want to share these real, this really exciting news. I got selected to be part of the Orange Garden Tour. It is the first year that they're putting on this tour. Um, I am so honored, but I'm so nervous because I don't know what to um, grow. Well, I do know what to grow in October, but it's it's just a different time for my garden. It's a very quiet time, and um, I'm going to have to be doing a lot of research to see what is what I'm going to grow. That is kind of sometimes not what I usually grow, right? But I'm really excited and um, I am gonna be posting everything on Instagram. So I'm gonna put all like when the tickets go on sale, how much they're gonna be. So just um, check out my Instagram so you guys could follow me on the process of getting closer to the uh, garden tour. Um, I did wanna tell you guys one thing really quick. So the garden tour, all the proceeds go to the Orange Home Grown. And this is a nonprofit um, foundation that helps the community with the education of sustainability for food. So I think it's a really great program for our community and I am all support when it comes to Orange because as you know, I love my city. So furthermore, let's go over to um, what I wanted to show you guys, what we're gonna be doing today on a Sunday, kind of an early afternoon. Um, I purchased two pots and um, I wanted to put these on the bistro area. And I needed some height for, not the bistro area, I'm sorry, the bistro table. I wanted different heights and I wanted something that would provide some more interest. So I got this beautiful pot here and I got two of these and I got this actually at Home Goods. And I love this because it was already glazed so it will help with the um, water ret retention when it's really hot because it gets full sun during the summer but I did notice that there was no drain. But that's okay, because I am gonna show you guys how to build this. So maybe you guys wanna do something like this for Mother's Day, um, could be a gift or just, you know, just add an addition to your garden. So I did do a kind of a pilot hole because this, you guys, takes a long time. Um, something to give you guys tips, because this is that glaze ceramic, always like, leave it in water, let the water soak in so it doesn't break. I've tried the blue tape, that didn't work, so I just been refreshing it with water. I put a little bit of water, in fact, I'm gonna put some right now, just so it doesn't break on me and soften up that ceramic. And that's what I'm doing. And then I'm taking my drill. So like I said, I don't wanna bore you guys, but I have that starter hole. And I'm gonna start here. <laughs> clean you see how the water because i had it soaking for a little while a little while it's actually a really smooth hole so yay that is what we're looking for so we're going to turn that around and then there's the hole down here and what i like to do with most of my pots i like to add this little mesh here so that keeps the soil from not falling through the hole and it keeps the bugs out so I have noticed when I do do not put those, I have lots of uh, little creepy crawlies in there. So that helps with all that. And then let's move this out of the way. Again, my go-to soil, and I am not sponsored, I'm nothing. I just love this soil because like I said, it's a, what they call it permanent soil for all the goodies it has, his recipe. So this is Gary's Best, and this is Top Pot. Um, this is, comes from my local nursery right here um it's called laguna hills nursery um i swear this stuff is a magic so we'll start with like filling it in so with this pot when i did the first pot i noticed because it has this rim in here i got to make sure that i tuck in the soil in there so 
It's actually, it took a lot more soil than I really anticipated. And usually by this point, guys, I usually add, but I do recommend because my last pot took all of it and I didn't realize I was almost gone, is this, um, of course, Proven Winners, the premium um, release plant food. This stuff is wonderful when you plant up your pots because when it heats up, it releases all the goodies in your container. So that is what you want. And at this point, I am going to add a little bit of biotone to kind of help it out because I am out of I am out of the release plant food. So we'll add that, mix that up. Okay. And then add more soil. I love the shovel, looks cute, but let's just get down and dirty, guys. <laughs> oh. Okay, I actually forgot. I love doing this because it makes it so much easier. And you see how we have to just kind of tuck in that soil right in there. It helps the roots grab into something and not just into the pots. So it's a beautiful day today. I think it's like 74 today. And it just feels like summer's just around the corner because it's starting to warm up, but then we have really cold days and days that rain. So this weather's been really weird lately, but that's okay. Hey, Southern Californians, we could always use more water, right guys? <laughs> so this is the one I have to kind of like shimmy in there. So let's start with this. So these little guys, these are our Myrias and I love these. I have a different variety, which the leaves are a little longer. These are really small, strappy leaves. And these are full sun, um, which is perfect for the area that I'm going to be putting it in. Water is low, so they do not need a lot of water, guys. They're almost like drought tolerant. Did I break a bloom? Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, anyway, they also, they are beautiful. They are, they flower from late spring to summer and they look like the cutest little, almost like, uh, what is it? That Dr. Seuss movie. What is it called, Jay? Where they, uh, the Lorax. Yeah. I think it's the Lorax where you see those big plants with the long stalk with the little pom poms. That's what it reminds me of. Okay. So we've got that going. Okay. So now here, if you guys could see, we have a little well right in there for the next plant and that'll be easier to plant. Okay, put that little guy in there. Third one here. I didn't tell you where I got these, did I? I got them actually, it's a nursery called Site One down the street. I took my mom to it the other day. We needed some uh, compost so I decided to pick a couple of these up and then I thought oh my gosh I just bought those pots I can make something for them with these with these little armerias cute 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 where's my shovel <laughs> did I did I drop it no, it's the shovel. okay there we go so I need another smaller shovel I don't know where it's at, but it's okay. This works good. So we just gotta fill that all in, all the little crevices. Again, just tuck it up. You can see that little ledge. Just tuck it in there. Don't kill the plant, don't kill the flower. Be gentle. <laughs> Wouldn't this be so cute for Mother's Day, Jay? I mean, this would be so cute great gift idea because Mother's Day is just around the corner. Okay. This one's tricky because I feel like I'm almost done, but then I put my fingers and there's no soil. So just want to make sure that we have soil all inside the, the, this beautiful pot. And the color of this pot is really really a good blend with that. You guys remember my 
my bee containers, my bee pots on the bistro tables. So I thought that would be just perfect. They would just really complement each other. And that's why I liked it. Because I like the color scheme on it. Because the showcase here is the flowers. It's the plant. Well, of course the pot too, I guess. Right, guys? <laughs> I think I got all the, yeah. The last one I planted, I broke the flower stem and I was so bummed because it was ready to it was ready to uh, flower. And I was like, no! I get really sentimental that way when I break flowers or when I, you know, accidentally pull something else out that I thought was a weed, but it was a little seedling of some sort. I'm sure we've all done that, right? <laughs> okay, so now we're nicely packed in there. And I'm trying to get right underneath the rim so we don't overflow when we water it with soil. So, oh, we don't want, we, you guys, we don't water with soil. We water with water. <laughs> Sorry, I am not scripted here. I am saying what, whatever comes out of my mouth, but that was not the right thing. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we've got that. You guys see the vision so far? Then I love these small pebbles. These are small decorative pebbles, and I, it just makes it just really kind of finishes the project, and it makes it look so sweet, and it keeps the soil in there and the water retention um, so you don't lose it so much. So it's, you know, just kind of a mulch for your little potted plants. And I love because they're shiny and they're just cute and they're small for this area or for this pot. I'll put it right in the middle. Oh, I need a little bit of soil in there. There we go. These little happy plants. Now just kind of open that up and kind of pressed down so they could kind of be kind of embedded with the soil so they don't move that much and I don't lose how many when I'm watering okay I think we're today. A very peaceful day today. Okay. How's that looking, guys? Yeah. so I don't make mud here. I should just take the shop back, but I'm being lazy, so this is just gonna be the lazy way.
Okay. Give it a good drink. And then I just like to do this to just kind of clean the pot so it looks nice and pretty and ready to be displayed. Okay. And the piece of resistance. Sweet little buddy. She's so sweet. There you go, guys. What do you think? So here's one, and the twin is over here. And this is, don't fall on your equipment. Always move those out of the way. <laughs> and then I'm going to show you guys a little later. We'll put them on the bistro tables. And this is it. What do you guys think? Hope you like it. Have a happy Sunday, and take care of my friends. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, and don't forget to hit the notification button so when I do get a new video or you know whatever, just you guys are on board with me and on this journey of gardening. Take care of my friends and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.